Well, hello everyone in here. Show you right here. Talk about cousins right here. And I know that whenever I was working on this, I actually thought about you know go ahead and just doing some more illustration work right here, and then working later on in Photoshop. But talk about a story right here. And I know a lot of uh, students out there might even say too that um, if you're going to begin a story just by telling somebody about you know what you do and what you you know what you'd like to do and what you're good at and you know, other things that, you know, any other sorts of topics of the matter that you want to discuss about, and, uh, let's just say that, uh, you know, the only, the one way that you were able to meet somebody is just by, you know, that they were able to find something, you know, that you're good at, and, uh, and let's just say that one of those stories uh, would be about as to where if you were to make a, any sort of donation, you know, if you were to contribute to a charity or something like that, and like everybody else, um, I might even say too that most of the time, though, that you meet people whenever you do contribute, whenever you do donate, uh, you know, you know, donate to the charities, you know, raise money, or if anything, uh, you know, if you're just a volunteer, you're you know helping out with uh, some of the work that needs to be done, you know. So it seems like the story kind of goes on and on about how is it, you know, how did you find uh, out about the, the information, or how did the job get done, you know, such and such. But uh, you see right here. This right here is exi this example right here of these people like you know, yeah talk about one uh, one ball you know one basketball but then you have uh, you know uh, four or five other players you have five players on the same team right and it usually the way it starts is by is, is toward you get you know a group of uh, players and like yeah one ball but then uh, you have so many players right but a lot of times it's like. Uh, you know, whenever it comes to getting the job done, though, it's like, yeah, well, one task, but then you have a, a team of at least, you know, 10 people working on that task or so. And so a lot of times it seems like that, um, that yeah, you know, whenever it comes to tasks and responsibilities and other, but still, you know, other than like uh, you're talking about uh, for the long journey uh, ahead, though, that, uh, you know, I uh, was also want to talk about cousins, though, because... Whenever, like every year, if you're going to have a, a family reunion going on, and let's just say that if it's going to be uh, maybe from the, the marital you know, status, so like you know, from, the, from the wife or the spouse's side of the family, or it could also be uh, maybe related to somebody that you were working with. I'm like, yeah, if you were, if you were invited to go to uh, an event, you know, and then let's just say if somebody invites you to go to an event or like a you know, ceremony or maybe if it's a, a concert or anything like that, so it's like, yeah, your the story kind of goes on about um, how you met somebody, but let's just say that maybe if it's at a basketball game or somewhere like that, a basketball game, or maybe at a tournament, or you know something like, uh, you know, yeah, you know, maybe if it was election day or something like that. So a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, yeah, you know, whenever you do talk to somebody, and let's just say if you meet somebody, maybe for lunch or dinner, that uh, the first thing that's really going to come to your mind is to where. Uh, yeah, well, we have a, you know, two people, I'm like, yeah, we have a lot in common, you know, two people, we have a lot in common, but still, we're trying to figure out, you know, okay, well, really, though, that, that we're not related, but I guess the question, should the question really be about is this tour, if you are related, or that, you know, that, yeah, you have a lot in common, but you're just trying to figure out here about, uh, you know, for you're the... You're the son or daughter of, uh, you know, who? And uh, so it's like, yeah, you know, so it seems like like everybody else might even say that um, that whenever you're trying to put together a family tree here, you're kind of like one know too, that, you know, from your early childhood, you're trying to figure out who's who uh, whenever you do go to a graduation ceremony or to a basketball game or somewhere like that. And a lot of times it's like, yeah, everybody else might say that, um, that whenever you do... Uh, go to uh, an event with a, a crowd of people and let's just say if we're talking about you know at least at like anybody say that you know if we're if we're talking about more than three or four hundred people all together at this event and you know it'll be like impossible for you to be uh, able to find for whoever that you're looking for in particular or if anything that you know, yeah anybody that you're gonna be uh, that you're gonna meet there at the concert or at the basketball game and uh so that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that yeah, the story kind of goes by is toward, yeah, well, whenever you meet somebody, the first thing, you know, a lot of things that you're going to be talking about mainly are going to be by is toward, number one, are you, 
are we related at any point? I'm like, yeah, well, really, that, uh, I mean, I really don't know if that should be a question or if that should be a mystery or whichever you want to call it, but still, that, uh, but Sean right here, talking about cousins right here, and I know, like everybody else would probably say too, that uh, it's something about you that uh, people find really appealing, and let's just say that, uh, you know, you want to start by uh, storytelling, you know, you want to talk about a story and you're going to begin that story by stating as to where it's something that you're thinking about that you want to plan within the next year or maybe within five years from now or something like that. Maybe a cool a cool activity or an invention or something like that. And so that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, Yeah, like any source of radio station, music artist or radio station. And, um, and so that's why it seems like that you, know, you spend so much time, you spend a couple of hours just figuring out, okay, how the story connects about, you know, if this makes sense or if that makes sense and all that. But still, that um, like everybody else would probably say too, that uh, you'll get to the point that uh, if you want to go ahead and you know show uh, any sort of uh, presentation, such as you want to start the story by saying this to her that uh, you know hello, uh, you know friend or something like that, or yeah yeah, you know if you were classmates with this person, and uh, let's say that uh, you know hello today or something like that, and uh, so you want to write something like that. And uh, let's just say that um, if you're going to write something like that, and uh, probably thinking too that you know, you start the conversation by is to word it, yeah, by the time you connect with this person, maybe on chat or something like that, if you get on meeting and then you start talking a couple things, and you know, it's, it sure seems that way that you pretty much have to start the conversation by, are you familiar with this, or does that look very... Interesting, or does that look very familiar? So a lot of times, it's like, you know, whenever you first start this conversation, you might be talking about the tickets. Yo, the, yeah, the tickets to the basketball game. That may have been the start of the conversation that, you know, you first uh, were reaching out to this person by saying is toward, yeah, I got tickets or something like that. You know, I got tickets to the basketball game. So yeah, that um, yeah, that you know, not the baseball, but the basket, you know, the basketball game. But uh, still, that um, so if you were to start the conversation, you know, by like saying something like, "I got tickets to the basketball game," and then if you want to put on there your quote, you know, that uh, that yeah, you know, four other people can go. Uh, four, four others, I would just say four others, or if you want to go in, four other people can go. So yeah, a lot of times it sure seems that way that whenever you want to start the conversation a lot of times, that, uh, you know, you start talking about something that you, uh, maybe if you order them, if you were, if you won something, yeah, especially if you won any tickets to, uh, to the concert or something like that, or if you had an extra ticket to the basketball game and, you know, I guess they say, too, that, uh, you know, anything that you're going to maybe be posting maybe on a, an inter internet site like eBay or Craigslist or, you know, any internet site like that. And let's just say that, uh, you know, you won tickets, you know, you were able to won tickets or you won a few lottery tickets or won on the scratch off or something like that. So we all have our story to talk about whenever it comes to um, about um how uh, something was found, and like everybody else would probably say too, that if you talk to somebody and uh, they were able to find, you know, your work somehow, they were looking at a project that you were working on. So let's just say that uh, I guess the question should not really go by is as to where to oh, really, oh, are we really related or are we just like, but still, that uh, should maybe should the question maybe be a buzz as to where to spend a little bit more time getting to know the person as well. Spending a little bit more time, yeah, like anybody else would probably say too, that um, whenever you meet somebody, it's possible. You want to go ahead and start the conversation by saying this to where that we could be cousins. You know, we came from the same, you know, family group or, you know, yeah, you know, a friend of yours, a friend of yours that you met a long time ago that we were able to reconnect somehow. And this is how I was able to find, uh, you know, the whole story about you know, yeah, you know, the university that you went to, or maybe if it was a job that you 
and you will work in this job at you know at some point and so so it sure seems that way that the kind of like the family tree goes on and on and we probably know that and that you know you probably thinking too that um that even though uh, you know if uh this the story kind of starts by from back in the early 80s is like back uh, ever since graduation that uh, you haven't heard from this person or uh, you've been kind of want to reach out to uh, you know, yeah that you know whenever you do talk to somebody that uh, the question you know should the question start by is to where I don't really we're not related but I know quite a bit about you and that uh, you know about what you do and what you're good at and all that so so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, you start the conversation by saying uh, hello you know, are we, yeah, are we related? So it's like, yeah, you know, you know should that really be a, a question or any sort of mystery And like everybody else will probably say too, is that, uh, you know, if you want to start a conversation with anybody, are we related? And I, uh, you know, I came across, uh, uh, I came across, uh, Yeah, I, I came across um, one um, of uh, your projects. I came across one of your projects, and let's just say if you want to include an exclamation point and maybe uh, you know, a parenthesis marks or anything like that, you go ahead and put space right there in the parenthesis mark. That you know, it looks a, uh, it looks a uh, very uh, interesting. It looks very interesting. So a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, do people think that, uh, you know, you go ahead and start the conversation by something, saying something like that. And then, uh, you know, just one or two that maybe include a, a few uh, paragraphs in some sort. But, you know, still that uh, I know uh, with me, though, that um, when uh, we think about talking about a story, though, that includes, uh, you know, yeah, that there's uh, somebody that you're talking to and you could be related to this person and, uh Maybe one way you can maybe find out is to where if they're able to remember a point of time. You know, if they're able to remember a certain point of time. And then at, first of all, they're going to maybe ask as to where the, how come that I am just finding out this information now, even though if it happened 10 years ago. And uh, so it sure seems that way that, um, that maybe a lot of journalists out there might even say that. If you're trying to piece together... A little bit more of the puzzle here to where you're just trying to figure out, okay, that there's a point in time to where that you did meet this person at one time. That, uh, you know, yeah, they came across, you know, a project that you were working on or you were playing with them at a team at some point. And uh, so it's like, yeah, well, really, why would, uh, why would, you, why would we want to spend a, a whole lot of time figuring that out whenever maybe a lot of everybody else would probably say to you, if you're able to talk to somebody in person, and maybe that that's better, you know, to where you can actually talk to them in person, get to know them in person, and uh, so it's like, yeah, that um, at least for right now, though, it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, you go ahead and look at a drawing, and then uh, maybe if you are familiar, if that looks uh, very recognized, if it looks recognized, if a lot of that work is recognized, and a lot of that work looks very familiar. And uh, you're probably thinking, too, that, uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, if something looks very familiar to you, then more likely that you're going to probably say is to word that, uh, you know, that means that you've seen it before. And um, and I guess anybody say that, you know, yeah, you're familiar means, you know, I, um, I have um, seen um, this uh, work before. You know, I've seen it before, and uh, so I guess, uh, and then you're going to go and start out the next sentence by, you know, in, like, you know, if it's a, you know, commas or parentheses or anything that you want to, that you, but the, still, you want to say is to where that I, uh, I've seen this before, but, uh, you know, I, um, I am uh, trying to figure out where I've seen it, and, um, so a lot of times, if you're going to be going, uh, yeah, figure, go figure, huh? But, you know, still, a lot, a lot of times, whenever you go into those museums, a lot of times, it sure seems that way, that way, uh, any sources of a work of art, or if we're talking about, uh, you know, anything in particular, that if you've seen it before, then, then uh, 
And you might even want to know too that uh, why is it that that, uh, that that looks very familiar. That rings a bell to where that that starts bringing back a lot of uh, uh, the memories. I'm like, you know, so yeah, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, you know, anything that you're going to be working on though, uh, that you might think is to where the, yeah, cousins. You know, cousins, uh, you know, these uh, cousins are people, I'm like, yeah, that uh, I'll go in right on here. You know, cousins are, um, you know, from, uh, from yeah, from, the, I guess if you want, I don't know if you want to kind of call it, you know, from the offspring or anything, but still, like, uh, go, I put on the apprentices to where people, um, people uh, who are, uh, are the, the children the children, uh, you know, from uh, the parent side. So most of the time, that that's usually what it means is that you, know, yeah, children are the offspring, you know, from the parent side, uh, your fa- parent side of the family. Um, parents, if it's a uh, your brother, or sister, or maybe if it's a uh, you know, yeah, step uh, step family or a half a uh, half brother or sister or something like that. So it sure seems that way that. Um, that uh, whenever it comes to cousins, though, that, you know, you want to talk about a story right here, and like everybody else of probably 102, that, uh, you know, do you think that maybe that that story starts out to where that you go ahead and and uh, show some support to a charity or maybe go to an event and let's just say that somebody might even say, too, that, you know, one way of how that they're able to get to know you just a little bit better and, you know, for what's been going on from over the years is just by, you know, asking you a few questions, and if that, if your answers do become relevant, you know, and too responsive to word that, you know, yeah, well, you know, whenever you talk to somebody over the phone, or even on chat, that seems like, that, um, that, yeah, you know, uh, you start talking about something, and, uh, you know, uh, people have a better understanding of what you're talking about, and, um, but let's just say that in case of anybody that may say that, you know, if, uh, Maybe not everybody's really going to know uh, what you're talking about until they're able to see uh, just to get a better idea about, you know, some of the projects that you're working on. And uh, and so let's just say that, uh, you know, if you were working for maybe for a publishing company, if you uh, if part of your job was to go ahead and write an article about a sports event or something like that, about the scores and and then about, you know, uh, details about about the event, to where the arena, about where the games play, and for who who the players are, where the what the score was, you know, you know, so that sorts of stuff. So let's just say if you were working for maybe for um for like any sorts of a company, if you were working for a company to where you pretty much were in charge of putting together the the you know that the you know the, the layouts, you know, that the spreadsheets and the documents and all that stuff. Uh, Related to about an event and all that, and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way. That, uh, that yeah, you know, anybody that you do uh, meet, you know, in person, though, and you're probably thinking that, uh, you know, yeah, that they could be, you know, one of your cousins, you know, even though you may not know them very well, but still, you know, even if, even if you don't, and like I guess everybody else might even say too that, um, that whenever you do talk to somebody, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, uh, do you really have to be related? And a lot of times it's like, well, if you, uh, you know, you're going to maybe be asking the questions. And uh, so a lot of times it's like, you know, uh, at some point at one time that we uh, we actually met each other at one time. You know, it was it's been a couple of years. You know, it's been about 10 years, you know, mm-hmm. since, you know, we uh, last uh, talked to each other about something. And uh, so let's just say if that's the case to where um, that uh, you you uh, seen this you know, you met uh, this person at one time you know you seen them at one time and you met them at one time but then you're just trying to remember all the details and so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, you know yeah that uh, you know you uh, there were think about the story to where that think about a topic though and what what I've been really been working on here lately has really been focusing on the future though. You know, a lot of things, uh, you know, education-wise and career-wise and also other sort of other things that I've been working on here lately have really been about um, about two years from now. Like, you know, yeah, that if you want to set a goal or achievement, 
you know, working on anything about, you know, yeah, student aid or, you know, if, you, if you're working on some of your school stuff and all that. But let's just say that, uh, that whenever you do connect to somebody and whenever you do talk to somebody on meeting, though, it sure seems that way, that, that the first thing that you, that might come to your mind at, at first will be is as to where that you think that, uh, you know, this person right here, that they could be a cousin. And, uh, and let's just say that it's been since, uh, you know, it's been since, you know, 19, um, it's been since 1987, you know, since you last talked to this person. And let's just say that if they were a friend of yours from somebody, you know, from a, from a dad or from a mom's side of the family or something like that, you know, somebody that you used to work with. And so let's just say that, that you know, yeah, you, 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 whenever you do talk to people and a lot of times it sure seems that way. The first thing that comes to your mind whenever you do talk to somebody is that, you know, we're not related. We're just talking or, you know, yeah, well, you know, there's only so much that you know about me and there's only so much that I know about you. And so really that whenever you do, you know, even whenever you go to church or whenever you go to some of these social groups, it sure seems that way that um, people that you talk to that, you know, do you think that it's really good uh, to just to take five minutes to just explain what is it that you do and in which you, uh, who you are and then uh, for uh, maybe if you're there to attend an event or something like that. So it's like really that you know should the question really be about us to where just a better you no know, better get to know you a little bit more is that uh, a lot of things that you've been doing from over the years that look that seem very familiar they're very very interesting very familiar so so whenever you do connect to a lot of these meetings though and it's, it seems like to me that a lot of times though it's like yeah you know you don't really have. Uh, a whole lot of time really to explain all the details and like I, everybody else will probably say too you don't really have to explain the details but it seems like to me a lot of times it's like you know uh yeah and even though if you do get into the details and you have these uh maybe a few of these embarrassing moments to where that um that's something that you're working on and whenever something goes wrong and then that uh, you know people may want to know too that uh you know you do you want to just kind of Look back and just think about it as to where if you want to go look back and laugh about it or if you just want to think that I'm just too really embarrassed really to talk about it. And let's just say if it was during a basketball tournament or something like that, you know, that, 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 you know, you, uh, you know, yeah, that, you know, you, uh, you know, something went wrong and to where that, uh, you know, you lost the game and this is what, this is what happened. You know, you lost the game and, you know, people were thinking as to where the, how come you didn't pass the ball you know, to your teammates and all so. So yeah, you think about situ your situations like that, and uh, and so that's why it sure seems that way that um, that when we want to write about something, talk about teams though, talk about team though, and uh, so it's like uh, you want to start the sentence by saying something like, uh, you know, yeah, that you know, uh, talk about the future though. I would, uh, I a lot of times I talk about the future though, the future. And I'll go in and put, you know, do space right here and just put on here, you know, five years, you know, five years, um, five years, um, from, uh, now, uh, the work, um, to be discovered. So a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, uh, when we do, uh, go out in public a lot of times or anything that we're going to be talking about it's like uh you know uh, yeah that um you know do you really have to have like any source of a, a clear understanding in that language or you know anything about which call the thoughts that come to your mind such as as to where that things would make a lot more sense if you can just follow up about look at you know read over those text messages read over Read over those paragraphs. Read over those articles, and so do you think that maybe that uh, that you know you would have a, a more clear understanding of the story if you were to actually look back and look at all the all the conversations and all the notes and like everybody else would probably say too. It seems like that yeah, number one that maybe people would just need to feel more confident when uh, if you want to join the conversation, you want to just figure out okay how do you go ahead and. And what do you what do you click on, on on your computer? What do you click on from your smartphone just to figure out, okay, how to respond to a conversation, how to respond to those messages, and and of course, if you wanna, I'm like, yeah, you know, like anybody else would probably say too that uh, 
you know, it starts, you know, <laughs> yeah, it starts by, um, you know, it starts, you know, <laughs> anybody say that, yeah, you know, uh, it starts, you know, like, you know, The Lion King, but, you know, still, you know, anything that you watch on from those Disney movies, so, <laughs> yeah, how do you spell it? <laughs> it starts, yeah, yeah, I, th I think it is with the U, just say with the U, though, and, um, if you want to put, like, any, um, quotation, you know, any commas or anything like that, it starts. It starts by saying, by saying, you know, like, you know, maybe quote that or something like that. It starts by saying, you know, uh, yeah, greeting somebody. And let's just say that if you want to start the conversation by as to where, you know, how do you do? You know, how do you do? And, you know, you know do you think, uh, how do you do? And, uh, you know, if you want to use, like, any source of short synonyms, and and let's just say that, you know, you say howdy. So, let's just say that, you know, is that really one word right there? And, like, everybody else will probably say, too, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, why does it have to be even in, in curly brackets or anything like that, or quotations or anything like that? But I'm like, well, really... Whenever you do uh, write to somebody, and let's just say if you want to do like a space right there and and uh, write in a word, and uh, you know that word's going to include something like um, you know, uh, yeah, you know, such as hi, you know, like a uh, hi, you know, lovely or something like that, or you know, uh, you know, half the time, if you're trying to start a conversation about you know trying to follow up about a story though, that uh, you probably would say too that. Uh, you know, how how do you think that you would really want to start that conversation? And like everybody else would probably say too, that uh, whenever you do start something, know that, um, that uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, you know, I came across, um, I came across, you know, yeah, I came across your work. And, uh, you know, like everybody else would probably say too, that, um, you know, I came across your work, and, uh, you know, if you want to include, like, any things such as uh, action verbs or pronoun sentences or anything like that, but uh, still, that if you were to type up anything on there and to start the conversation, and let's just say that uh, this person that you're talking to, that, that they, you know, asked you, or, you know, can you show me some examples of some of the work that you're talking about, or, you know, anything, you know, like, yeah, anything that comes to your mind, such as anything that you want to talk about. And so let's just say that that's the first thing that you really would like to talk about for, like, any sort of, I'm like, yeah, that, uh, you know, you go ahead and include, uh, if you're going to be working on an article and you want to tell a story about to where how people meet, and let's just say if it's five people, and, um, and so let's just say if you're trying to invite somebody to dinner or to breakfast and, you know, that Monday morning, and, uh, you know, you want to go in and talk to people, like, hey, you would you mind, would you meet me there at the coffee shop at 2 o'clock or something like that, and so by the time you meet somebody, and then it's like, yeah, you know, uh, if, if the question, should the question be uh, mainly related to about how the story connects compared to, you know, well, we're not related, well, we don't, you know, there's only so much you know about me, and there's only so much I know about you, you know, compared to, you know, maybe get to know, you know, each one another. So I know during these difficult times, it sure seems that way that, um, that with uh, mask wearing and everything, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, due to the COVID and everything. So it's like when things do start gradually going back to normal, that's whenever you just really want to tell a story is to where that, yeah, you know, uh, you were able to meet somebody just by, you know, yeah, it was a, it was a donation to a charity. So let's say that that's what uh, what they said is to where the, yeah, I um was uh, doing, you know, charity. You know, it was for charity. And if you want to just put that in like one sentence right there, if it's for charity. So let's just say that if you were doing work and let's just say that uh, a lot, of, you know, like, yeah, I couldn't, you know, like, yeah, if it was the elections, uh, elections, or if it was uh, anything, uh, Related to about, uh, yeah, the elections, or if it's uh, your contribution, your contribute. And uh, so, if you know any veterans, I'm like, if you know any veterans, uh, 
that uh, you know that you talk to you and uh, say a few people who are veterans and you're going to start the conversation that way and then uh, let's just say that um, that uh, you know first of all it's like you know there's only so much that we can there's probably a lot of things especially during the reunions and during the times that we're able to see each other in person people might even say that you know, you start the conversation by saying this to where that the things that have been going on for the past 10 years and maybe you can't explain everything within a certain you know within you know certain time or whichever and like you know yeah if you're going to be talking all day about something and that you still don't have a, a you no know, have no clue of uh how it, you know, does it really make any sense or not? But uh, still, that um, but the first of all, you just want to really want to start the conversation by saying is to word that you know, yeah, well, you know, that looks very familiar or that's interesting, and uh, so whenever you start to these uh, conversations and whenever you join these meetings, though, a lot of times, and half the time it's like, yeah, well, really, should a should the conversation start by that um. Knowing that you know, that you care that, that you know, yeah you uh, you know, I uh, I am up here uh, to show support. So let's just say that uh, you know you start the conversation by saying that I'm you know I'm here to show support. And so let's just say that uh, if you start the conversation that way, that uh, you know I'm not really to here to prove that uh, that I am the oldest, uh, you know brother or that you know, yeah the, you know, I'm the half brother are you know, I'm you know I you know yeah that you know, somebody that you used to work with but still that um that you know maybe uh even if you did meet somebody you know from the elections or maybe if it, it was from the basketball game or something like that you know do we really have to be related uh, just to be able to better to know this person or just to understand the story more and like everybody else would probably say too that uh, especially on a birthday or you know a wedding or a special occasion, you know we don't need to think of each other as like to word it yeah, all strange or anybody that you know, just to feel more confident with uh, what we do and everything. And a lot of times it's like, you know, uh, like everybody else would probably say too that um, you know try to think about that to where that uh, for how the story connects and then also. You know, how much support that you're willing to give to somebody and even though that you might think is to where that you start talking to somebody and that you you thinking too is to where that, uh, you know, why is it that you don't spend more time getting to know that person and what they do and then uh, maybe the college that they went to and maybe, you know, if they know something, maybe that you don't, you know, so a lot of times, you know, I might even talk like, yeah, the president, might can, the president of the United States can maybe be telling everybody too. That why is it that you don't tell, you know, why is it that you don't spend more time telling people about what you do and what you're good at and just, uh, you know, to get a better understanding about how something works compared to thinking about, well, you know, yeah, we're not related. You know, we didn't come from the same family or, yeah, yeah, this is how we met and it's embarrassing. So really, though, that whenever the president talks about certain things and half the time, you know, you went oh two that uh, at one time you were classmates with this person. Yeah, you, know, you were classmates with them, so of course, you know, you know, but still in case of anybody that may want oh two that uh you know, yeah, we're not related, even though maybe if uh you you know you maybe if you say something like, you know, I wish that I would have discovered your work a lot sooner. So let's just say if you were to say something like that, you know, I wish um uh, I wish that we would have uh you know, we, uh, I wish we would have, uh, you know, found this a lot sooner. So a lot of times, though, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, um, if that's really a question or if you want to include like a, you know, exclamation point or, you know, my work, you know, something like that. But still, that, that you know, isn't that, uh, Really, isn't that a part of getting the job done whenever you discover something a lot sooner, whenever you find something a lot sooner? So whenever we start a conversation by saying something like that, I guess it is that kind of like a, you know, wake up the mind thing into where something like, you know, yeah, that, you know, uh, somebody that uh, came across something that you were working on. And uh, so it's like the first thing that's really going to come to your mind is to where that, you know, you're trying to find something. 
You're not really uh, trying to judge something about, you know, okay, are you really related? Or, you know, if you, um, you know, you don't really know that person very well, or, you know, yeah, you don't really know the process very well. So I think that the really the key factor of the matter is to remember is to we're finding, uh, you know, finding clues and also finding anything, uh, you know, like, yeah, finding something and that, uh, you know, discovering something. So that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, you want to start the conversation by saying is to where, yeah, well, you know, we're, we were neighbors, you know, we're, we're neighbors and this is what we were working on. So, you know, just to kind of like everybody else would probably say too, we each have our story about what we want to, what we want to talk about just to explain the situation, but still, that may, we may not want to talk about everything, but still, that, uh, you know, shouldn't really be about, you know, whenever it comes to uh, the State of the Union address or job creation, though, that, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't the whole work in the process be about getting a better understanding about, you know, what went on during the work of the process and just to kind of, you know, improve the process, to, you know, make things better. And uh, like everybody else would probably say too, that um, that in order to be able to make things better, that you know, do you really have to be related to this person, or if anything, just uh, you know, show some good courage and respect to her. That uh, you know, uh, yeah, whenever you talk to somebody, and then uh, you know, yeah, that if you uh, you know, yeah, you know, something that you're good at, and then uh, that person may ask you to where if you can, you know, show some guidance, you know, on you know, okay, well, how do you use this and so, like, everybody else would probably say to you, yeah, well, what would the president say about that? About to where if you're trying to train somebody on how to do something and, uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, you, they're not, you know, we're not really related. I'm like, well, really, the question is really about if it's, uh, if it's your job, you know, you know, whose job is it or whichever or if anything that will really that uh, start the conversation by saying is to where that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know, if you're, if you're able to give some advice and then also like everybody else would probably say too, that, um, start the conversation by saying is to word it, uh, you know, uh, are you willing to show support and then, uh, you know, yeah, courage and, and, uh, and respect about, uh, you know, to word that you start the conversation and then, uh, you know, like everybody else would probably say too, that, uh, you actually, like working privately yet before you start getting into the big stuff and uh, the big stuff what i mean by is before you know before you get promoted or before um, you can earn that bachelor's degree and before you can earn that state credit you know on your taxes or anything like that that uh, you start the conversation by saying is toward yeah well we're not related but still you know we have a lot in common so let's just say that, uh, you know, yeah, we um, are not related. We are not related. But we uh, have um, a lot in common. So if you were to... Uh, we have a lot in common. What I mean by is that, uh, yeah, something like um, that uh, a lot, uh, a lot uh, of uh, the skills are very familiar. So whenever something, uh, yeah, you know, I don't need to get the A and the I reversed here. But uh, whenever something looks familiar, so whenever something looks very familiar, though, and half the time, like everybody else would probably say, too, that, uh, yeah, that looks very familiar. And uh, whenever you start the conversation, and, uh, you know, you might even say, too, that, yeah, well, what's in it for me? <laughs> what's in it for me? So a lot of times, yeah... <laughs> And, and I, I don't recommend anybody writing it, you know, but, you know, still that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you trying to make a point or perspective or a cause of thinking or anything like that, that you want to start the conversation by. And uh, like, I guess a lot of people that usually means, yeah, well, what do you want me to do about it? Or, you know, uh, well, okay, uh, what are you asking me to do? Or uh, so a lot, but still that, um, 
So a lot of times it's like, you know, you start the conversation by saying something like that. You know, you try to make a point or you try to explain the situation just a little bit more clearly about something. And uh, and so that's why that uh, it's like, yeah, well, you know, I, uh, you know, I was endorsed, you know, to you by somebody else. And uh, they were telling me about, you know, and I know you're probably familiar with this. And so can you do me a favor? And so a lot of times it's over a favor, yeah, a favor, and, um, yeah, a lot of times it's over a favor, and like everybody else would probably say, too, that, um, you know, uh, yeah, you start the conversation, and let's just say that, uh, you know, if you're going to be talking to somebody, a counselor, or if you're going to be talking to, uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, somebody, uh, working your case, I'm like, yeah, talking to a, a support coordinator or somebody, and let's just say that, uh, you know, they're going to be asking for a favor, so a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, do you really want to start the kind of the conversation by saying, "Yeah, we're not related," <laughs> or do you just want to say that, "Well, really, that um, well, what's it for?" But uh, still, but uh, on the other hand, that uh, you know, really, what uh, the whole uh, purpose of the factor matter is knowing that that you know, should you really take a little bit more time and effort to, just to show people, I'm like, yeah, this is. This is what you do, and then, you know, so a lot of times, though, it sure seems that way, that the, st the whole conversation starts by that, you know, really, the things that you've been talking about for the past three hours, you know, you go out, you know, you talk for five hours, you talk to, you talk to somebody for five hours about something, and a lot of times, it seems like it's all about getting the job done, okay, it's, it's really about what can improve for the better, getting the job done, and just to get a better understanding about the, the, the situation, and so, so a lot of the articles that we may read about, even in, in the papers and, you know, even for the New York Times or if it's going to be the Postal Dispatch or something like that, and you're probably likely to know too that, um, that it's a really long story. But still, just to make the long story short, that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, part of the work has already been processed. Yeah, so, some of that work has already been done and... And so, like, a lot of times, it sure seems that way that a lot of people probably say, you start the conversation is toward that, yeah, it has, um, it has already been done. So, in order for something to already be done, already be taken care of for you, so far as, you know, for automatically, and I can go and put on here, for automatic. And, uh, like everybody else would probably say, too, yeah, for automatic, it's already been done. And, uh, so let's just say that, uh, you know, really, what, what's the most common fact that matters to where that whenever you're working on something, and let's just say if you've been working on it for five hours, and you want to know, too, that you were getting ready to do something, and find out that, uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, that um, that you you also could probably think, too, is to where that, uh, you know, if it's really about, you know, the system that recognizes your activity, to why that you, that that's an automatically step forward, and, um, so a lot of times, like everybody else would probably say too, that yeah, you know, your hard work does count, but does it really need to be recognized by this cousin or by somebody that you used to work with? And so, so a lot of times it seems like it's all about, you know, uh, yeah, the people that you used to work with, uh, you know, people that you were working with there at one time, you know, you know, you work with somebody and uh, you just to kind of get to know them and uh, you'll know, just say that, that, you know, yeah, well, you know, you know, whenever they greet you, they call you by the name of, you know, hi, how you doing, brother? Hey, how you doing, bro? Hi, bro, or something like, or, you know, yeah. Or, you know, if you're going to, like everybody else would probably say, too, if you want to, yeah, you know, any spam, right, but you're still, that, um, you know, you want to start the conversation, uh, you know, like everybody else would probably say, too, that, uh, you know, partner or something like that. So, so if you want to give the conversation a name, and let's just say, uh, that uh, you start the conversation by saying brother, but you know, yeah, you know, for what's uh, for what's recognized, and you know, yeah, brother, and um, so let's just say that uh, you know, what's one way of how you can prove that that's your writing right there, and let's just say if you include uh, two periods right there, and let's just say if you start out the the period uh, with like. Maybe like a quotation, such as maybe for a nickname or something like that. And, uh, you know, but still, you know, ways of how you're able to recognize people on chat. And uh, one way that you can maybe think about is, is to where that, uh, 
you know, that cousin or, you know, I'm like, yeah, your cousin, you know, if you want to start that, start that by saying, you know, yeah, cousin, you know, for what's recognized and you go and put on here, comma, that, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you want to include like maybe, uh, you know, any source of a, a name or I'm like, yeah, something, something that somebody can recognize. But still, you you start off by saying it's like yeah the cousin or yeah yeah cousin you want to start to the that you know, start this uh, conversation by saying yo yeah brother cousin and uh, you know if you want to include uh, something like uh, you know uh, what year to be discovered or something like that you know I can go and put on here for you know for twenty twenty two you know like yeah hashtag quotations or anything like that. Your cousin twenty two and then um you know at the um, that you know the the cool tech or something like that yeah cool tech or yeah cool tech how many of us are really going to um you know set any sorts of conversation like that you know cool tech and uh yeah like we're thinking too cool tech huh well you know really. Anything would really well. What's cool to you necessarily? <laughs> you know, cool tech or something like that. But still, that uh, I, I'm like, yeah, that you know, like anybody else are probably thinking too that whenever you start the conversation with somebody, and uh, you know, you're gonna maybe say that um, that you know we're not related, but uh, we have a lot in common. This is a this is what I know about you, and you know, all the hard work that you put into something, and uh, you know, does it you know, it needs to be recognized and. Um, so a lot of times it's like, yeah, whenever you do recognize something, and a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, if something looks very familiar to you, then then that would show a lot of signs of strength toward that, yeah, you know, if they, if somebody knows your work very well, then then they'll, you know, say that, uh, you know, yeah, if they know your work very well, then then they're gonna maybe say, you know, yeah, <laughs> I know your work very well, and then I know. Uh, for sure, that, that this is this is the work that's recognized, and uh, so, yeah, a lot of that, co- a lot of the copywriting, and also, uh, you know, if you were endorsed, but you know, if you were endorsed for a job opportunity, the more likely that that sometimes that's what happens too, is that um, whenever your, uh, whenever your projects and your assignments are passed around to other candidates, and that's kind of like how that works, and so that's why it seems like yeah, if it's cousins, cousins fit or something like that, so yeah, if you. Uh, if you're going to be talking to a, a cousin or if you're going to be talking to somebody who's the daughter of a friend of yours, that, that somebody that you were working with at one time. So it's like, yeah, a lot of these long stories, you know, a lot of, they, they make the long story short, but really, think about the future, everybody. Think about, you know, really, what, what are your goals and achievements within the next year from now, within the next 12 months? And like everybody else will probably say too, that yeah, well, really... What I've been working on it has actually been associated with computers, with uh, web development, and also um, the study about um, about storytelling, about children's stories, and also uh, you know what I've been working on is actually uh, it, a lot of it has been related to the library or maybe working in the bookstore or something like that, working in the you know librarian or maybe being a book author. Or maybe being a doctor working there in the medical lab or something like that. So, so it's like a lot of that stuff can take a lot of your time. But I tell you one thing, though, like everybody else would probably say too, that um, that whenever it comes to uh, meetings and then having training sessions and all that, that it sure seems that way. That um, that you know, uh, yeah, you know, how important really is it to be recognized, you know, by somebody else? You do you kind of call that you what you call a gift? It, is it a gift to be recognized? You know, a gift. You know, a, you know, gift. Is it? it you know, it's a. You know, it is um, important. Um, it's important to um, to be recognized. So yeah, that um, like everybody else would probably say too. If you knew how. <laughs> Yeah, try you spell it and compare it to the pen and paper and all that stuff. But still, that uh, you know, it's important to be recognized, and that whenever you are recognized, based on the stories that you talk about and based on the work that you do, that uh, you know, really, that like everybody else may even want to know too, uh, that you know, sometimes you don't really think about uh, 
you know, connecting that way to where that, you know, yeah, well, we came from the opposite sides of the family or that, yeah, we grew up in different towns. You know, we're not from the same town. Well, we're not from the same state. You know, we're from opposite states. And uh, so a lot of times that you want to start the conversation by saying it's important uh, for that work and your activity to be recognized, you know, for people to be familiar with it. So try to think about more that way. That besides thinking about, well, we, we're not from the same town. Yeah, we, we grew up in a smaller town. Yeah, it, it, that was on the west side, the west side of the state, or it was on the east side of the state, or yeah, down south of the side of the state, or something like that. So really, that, uh, you know, really, what does the president, or well, what would the doctor really say about that? You know, like, you know, in order for things, in order for our, te- in order for our resources and technology to be improved for the better, though, Try to think about what is recognized and, uh, you know, for how uh, people uh, interact with you about with the stuff that you're good at. And um, so ever since I was in the fifth grade, and I know a lot of those teachers would say, too, that ever since ever since you were in the fifth grade, it seems like that, that in order for in order for you to pass these courses, you know, you think about that to where the, other than the fact about that you tried, you know, you tried and. You worked hard. You just to be able to get that A plus, A you know the A plus on the test, on the quiz. But still, what's one good way of how you can explain to our children about how to succeed? You know, and and the first thing that you're gonna maybe think about is just toward it. Yeah, you know, anything such as special treatment or anything like that. You know, what's one thing? What's key? One, what's one key factor that matter is to remember about that is to where um, that uh, you know yeah you know. Uh, the work that you do to be recognized. If you believe that maybe getting there you know, earlier, like everybody else would probably say too, turn in your work in earlier and maybe do a little bit more extra credit work or maybe you know, talking to somebody maybe privately, you know, talking to them a little bit more, explaining to them a little bit more. So it seems like a lot of times it's like, you know, yeah, whenever you are recognized, then uh, you know, it seems like to me that that's usually uh, the bright side to where the people... Uh, have a better understanding of what you've been working on, what you've been talking about, and then uh, what's been going on from from over the weeks. And uh, so it's like, yeah, especially around Easter, you like maybe every year on Easter Easter Sunday or every year on Easter that uh, you're going to maybe be talking about, you're maybe planning things ahead of time. And and a lot of times it sure seems that way that you're going to run into these embarrassing moments. And, uh, but still, I'll tell everybody too that, um, you know, uh, one of those embarrassing moments, uh, like everybody else would probably say too, that uh, you, you really, that, um, in order to be able to make things better, it seems like to me that you just really, uh, you know, uh, you know, you just really want, uh, people to understand that, uh, you know, whenever you talk about something and working on something that people are not going to understand until that you're able to actually, uh, talk to a lot, you know, people, talk to the right people and right place at the right time, you know, such and such. So that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, really, does it, is it really all about the fact about people need to believe uh, what you're talking about? People need to believe, uh, you know, okay, you know, yeah, dreams that you had, yeah, if it's, uh, you know, dreams or your know, thoughts that you have or anything like that. So the, the basic study of psychology and you know, science, you know, stuff like that. So, but, but still, I, I mainly want to talk about that, you know, this topic right here, mainly for cousins, because I see a lot of that about cousins, because you know how that is, is that, that you know, talking to your cousins is just like talking to your coworkers or your neighbors. You know, you're like, a, you're trying to figure out, you know, you're not really related, but still, you have a lot of things, a lot of things that you, that you are very familiar with, that, that they, they seem to be a lot common, even though, even though if you're not related, that somebody's going to maybe tell you that, uh, you know, I wish that we could have really, you know, found out a lot sooner, you know, wish that maybe if I would have found out about this a lot sooner, then maybe that we would have been able to solve a lot of those mystery stories that would have been solved and uh, a lot sooner. So it seems like to me, though, that like anybody say, if you're going to be working a job, that the, the key factor to remember is to where the yeah about what is to be recognized to a lot sooner. So really, that, that when we think about a job, though, when you think about work in progress, though, that we think about the speed, you know, yeah, a lot sooner, the speed of the progress. And um, and even though, you know, even though if you're not really super fast, 
that a lot of uh, the hiring teams will probably say too that you know knowing that you tried you know even if you do you know give something a try even uh, even um you know if um you try you know yeah you know should you uh, earn more credit in that you know yeah any special treatment or benefits or especially if we're talking about insurance or anything like that any insurance insurance membership benefits or anything like that you know, you name it, that, um, that how much support, and like everybody else would probably say too, that, uh, you know, uh, whenever you want to start the conversation, you know, whenever you talk to somebody about something, and uh, you're probably thinking too, is to word it really, who's really looking over your stuff, and who's really, you know, really listening and getting a better understanding of what you're talking about, and, uh, but I just really think too, that, uh, you know, uh, a lot, a few of the things that I want to talk about at later on point two and, you know, the imaginable of tomorrow and then also, um, talking about, uh, yeah, talking about, uh, you know, uh, publishing, uh, resources about publishing articles and then writing and then also designs. And so a lot of things uh, between uh, now and 2024 that I would probably like to talk about at some point also, but still that, uh, it sure seems that way that um, that right now it's like you know making sure that you know yeah due to the pandemic and everything it seems like that uh, everybody else would probably say too that you know if you're just really doing a lot of this virtual work and everything uh, you know working from home and connecting online and so it's like yeah so it's like um but the key the fact to remember is to where that um the yeah you know uh, that whenever you do talk to somebody and. Uh, you know, like anybody say to where that you know, you start the conversation by saying, "Hey, hello, how you doing? You know, good morning, or something like that, or you know, any any particular greeting." But um, really, though, you know, how often uh, is really going anybody going to ask that question to where that uh, you know uh, it'd be nice if uh, if a lot of that was recognized a lot sooner. So a lot of times, when you're going to be working a job, though. That that's the, maybe the first thing that you're going to be thinking about is this tour. That do you think that maybe this work in the progress should have been done? You know, it could have been done a lot sooner if maybe certain ways of how it was done. You know, do you think that maybe the speed, the speed, the speed of the of the process could have been at least five times faster if at these certain actions you know, could have taken place? And a lot, you know, like in half the time you want to know too. Then why is it that managers don't ask that question? You know. How fast you are on doing this job, and besides that, that you know how to handle you know for any mistakes that come up. Uh, but still, that that you know whenever you do, uh, whenever people look at your cover letter or your resume, that a lot of times it's like, you know, uh, yeah, that uh, you know are most of these companies looking for the fast majority of speed rather than bachelor's degree, master's degree, ten years experience all the time. That that uh, really though that. Uh, you know, are they really, you know, first of all, they're going, they're going to probably tell you for sure. I would like to see what you're talking about first before we get into the details. I'd like to watch you. Please do your presentation. Show me what you're talking about. And then uh, I'll go ahead and, and go into the next steps to where I talk to the hiring team. But still, so it's like, yeah, that uh, you go ahead and write a document about something and uh, your transcript or any sorts of documentation about something. And it sure seems that way to where, yeah, you know, not everything is compared to talking in person. And uh, people might say this to where that that's how the collage all starts. Whenever you build a collage, it's like it's all about getting people to kind of refresh in their memory and just to kind of being open minded about the things that you want to talk about. And um, so it's like, yeah, that um, you start the conversation by saying this to where that, yeah, you know, you think of a subject topic, a sub. Yeah, you would think of a, a subject, and then, uh, and then you just start talking about things. <laughs> but still, that. Um, but I know with me though, most of the time, what I talk about is mainly about the future, though. But uh, still, about the future of technology and what's soon to come, and all that, and you know what's soon to improve, and all that. But like everybody else would probably say too, you don't have your degree yet, so it seems like that you're going to be open minded to a lot of good opportunities, a lot of opportunities and possibilities. But still, that uh, you know, until you know, while I'm studying, though, it's like people may want to know too that uh, you know we're talking about five years from now. 
that what's still to be discovered about, you know, how you met this person and, uh, you know, uh, where did you get this or where did you get that? And uh, so it's like, yeah, that, um, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that you start the conversation by saying something like that and you want to know too that, uh, you know, yeah, well, it's, it's a real long story, but, uh, you know, by the time, you know, things start gradually coming back together, you know, and a lot of times people may want to know too that are, is it really broken down into the tiny pieces and the tiny pixels and then half the time it seems like that that's kind of like the case of the fact of the matter is that, uh, whenever you break down projects into smaller pieces, it sure seems that way that that's really the case. Whenever you break down projects, and whenever you break down projects into smaller, smaller pieces, though, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, nobody really has any clue on what you're talking about until it all comes together, until you put it all together, until a review is placed, until anything that's recognized. And, and so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, whenever it all comes together, and that's whenever that um, people recognize that, okay, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, that makes uh, a lot more sense now, you know, just because that, that you know, you explained it. And um, so, yep, so that's, that's just really about, you know, anything that you're working on, you know, compared to the original idea. And then, uh, you know, for anybody uh, who want to add in a few comments or anybody who want to do any pre-editing or anything like that. But really, though, that I guess the key factor matter is just knowing as to where that, yeah, you know, um, how, is it, how did the story come along? You know, and that's the first question that you're going to maybe learn to where that, you know, really, would anybody really, uh, you know, they say this to where I wish I would have known a lot sooner. You know, I it would be nice if I would have been told a lot sooner, you know, something that happened 10 years ago. And uh, and so that's why it seems like that. um that, uh, yeah, that, uh, whenever something that happened, you know, 10 years ago, and you're still trying to figure out, okay, if, if that makes a lot more sense now, and, uh, that you explained it, or, but still, for what to be, can be approved for the better, you know, but still, but the way I think about you, I also want to talk about that signatures also, like I talked about before, previously, and, uh, so it's like, um, that, uh, whenever you're going to be working at the computer, though, or even from your phone, that um, it's also important for your for your work to be recognized. But then also that um, while you're going to be working, though, it's like uh, you know, is it really good to have a good audience? You know, people who are listening. And let's just say if you are turned into the radio station, and let's just say if you just start talking about stuff, and let's just say if one of those things is maybe going to be about you know, yeah, that um, something that uh, that you you know, any results that, that, that you came up with and and thinking, too, that you thought that maybe a lot of this uh, stuff that's now becoming reality and uh, one of those things of what you call reality to where that, uh, you know, yeah, you used to do it, sketches on a sketchbook before, you know, before that you're sharing, uh, you, before the common sharing tools who were even announced to where it's more common to where you can actually allow people that they can actually see what you're doing. You know, recording live or you know anything like that. But anyway, um, so talk about a story though that, that like uh, you know any doctors might even say too that uh, you know tell people a story. It could be a true story or it could be about something, the possibility of something happening at a later on point or something that did happen a long time ago. Talk about a story, and with that story though, does that does that story have to include anything such as? A verb or a noun or maybe your know, conclusion or maybe action pronouns or genres or anything about journalism or anything like that. So you're probably thinking too that um, that whenever you tell a story up to somebody about something, that a lot of times though, did that does that kind of get you thinking toward okay, you know, uh, you know that that gets me concerned about that or you know if anything that is something that happened a long time ago. So it's like, yeah, you know, whenever you tell stories about something, and uh, the first thing that I really want to start out with, and I know for sure that I'm going to start out the story by saying, is talking about the family reunion, talking about cousins. And so that's why that, uh, yeah, you start out the story by saying is back, back whenever you were a young, a young, a little boy, 
and you know earlier in your whole in your childhood that um uh, that that you know, you remember going on this trip or you plan to go on this trip to meet to talk to somebody uh, and uh, let's just say that at one point that you were there at one time and you're just trying to figure out okay what the story is and um so yeah so that's why it sure seems that way that um that the the, the whole process starts by saying this to her that uh you know yeah that um you know you uh you start working on something and then uh, you you just have these uh these thoughts and these ideas about is to where that yeah that's very familiar or that's recognized or okay yeah that's interesting and most of the time it's over something interesting yeah it's over something interesting and uh you're trying to get a better clue of uh why you uh, recognize it and then why it's interesting to you or you know based on any sorts of requirements right but still so really that um Talk about the president's speech and everything, but but I just wanted to talk to everybody there about that, and uh, like everybody else would probably say too that yeah, you know, it's all it's all about the fact about that you know whenever you're going to be working a job, doing any sorts of work, or, you know, for somebody, and and let's just say that uh, you know the things that you learned during the whole time, you're during the three weeks that you were working on that assignment, on that project, and and you could probably say too that uh, you know uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's it, you know yeah it, it was, you know, you ran into a lot of difficult challenges especially you know. so that's one that's one word that I can also too talk about challenges and um, difficult challenges and I can maybe maybe put that in both letters or you know something like that I'm like anybody say too that you know both but you know still I yeah challenges your challenges are you know ways um ways of of a you know, testing, um, testing your skills. So any fitness that, uh, you know, if you're going to be, uh, you know, any fitness location, if you're going to be doing any exercises or doing any sorts of activities, that they'll say that, you know, a lot of challenges, that uh, they'll say that, you know, well, what's the best way of, like, ways to test in your skills? Anything that you didn't know about from before or anything, you know, yeah, you know, fun and, you know, fun and games and also uh, activities or encouragement, you know, like everybody else will probably say too, you know, it's like a practice exercise. Anything, anything that you didn't know from before, well, you know that now. And um, so, yeah, so it's like everybody else will probably say too that, uh, you know, you start the conversations and you know, that's how it all started. But I guess one thing, you know, the key to factor remember is to, just to know is to where. That yeah, you know, you did the best you could while you're doing it. And I say, yep, you did great. And um, so the best encouragement, like to everybody, will probably say that, hey, you know, you did great. So yeah, you did great. And uh, like anybody say that, yeah, yeah, you did great. And uh, if you want to start that, if you want to just like that, that conclusion will be is a tour. Hey, you did great. Even though if the the job. The job was not all completed, you know, the, the job, um, even though that, uh, you know, maybe not everything was all pros. I'm like, yeah, you know, whenever you first start working on a task, though, and uh, like everybody else would probably say, too, that, you know, you may not have done everything. You may not have gotten everything done, but they say is to where, hey, you did great, even though that, uh, you know, one problem after another that comes up. You know, whichever it could be, that uh, they'll tell you that you know a lot of your hard work. You know, you did great from all the hard work that that, that you were able to do during a time that that you were needed. And um, so, if that's really what it's really about, is toward that whenever you are needed for an assignment, you know, you did great. But anyway, uh, you know, thanks for watching, everyone. You know, have a great day.